That's so yummy. Wraps for your lunch boxes, butter bowls. Courgette sweet corn fritters. It's wicked. Super handy for lunches or for dinners. Oats are incredible for you. Wow, you're going to love it. Hi lovelies, welcome to today's meal prep video. Today I'm preparing lots of plant-based vegan snacks and dishes to mix and match that will go lovely together. I don't like to eat the same thing every day, so we're making lots of snacks and side dishes today. Today's recipes are totally gluten-free, half are oil-free and half use some oil. The main reason I love to meal prep every week is so that I always choose healthy snacks and there's always food in the fridge that I or my husband can just grab and eat. All of today's recipes are super nutritious and really healthy, packed with protein, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals. I love to eat healthy food and really, really yummy food. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and if you're new, think about subscribing. The first thing we're prepping today is two kilograms of tofu. We love fresh tofu. It just has the best texture. It's like squishy in the middle and it takes on flavor fantastically. Also, it is half the price of anything from the store. I buy it from my local Chinese supermarket. It's like two euros, 500 grams. Wicked. I'm gonna press four blocks now. If I press this all, if I marinate it all now, then I'll definitely use it all this week. If I don't press it all now and don't marinate it all, some might get wasted and I hate, hate, hate waste. Also, I want this for curries this week. I want it for wraps. So if I take the time and prep it now, it's gonna be perfect for this week. My favorite thing to do right now is ripping tofu. I feel that the flavor gets into the tofu so much better. It looks more and tastes more and the texture's more kind of meaty. It's just incredible. Give it a try. And it is worth going to your local Chinese or Asian supermarket. To press my tofu, I use kitchen towel. So we'll replace this kitchen towel every half an hour until the tofu is not so moist and it'll accept the flavor. Because of course, tofu is like a sponge and if you take the water out, you can get the yummy flavor in. Once it's pressed, we'll add it to the marinades. I'm gonna air fry this today so I can throw it into wraps, into salads, and then the other half will get used in curries or soups later this week. This week I'm making two different flavoured marinades. We're going to have one that's mostly red curry Thai paste based and one that is tandoori based. And I love a bit of garlic and ginger, fantastic flavour booster. Once the tofu is pressed and ready for the marinade, I'll marinate it in four tubs. So I juiced five lemons, but you should juice four lemons. These are from my garden, so they're not quite the juiciest. Basically you want one juice of lemon a tub, about a tablespoon of each of these curry paste a tub and a tablespoon of garlic and ginger. And they're fantastic marinades. You can prep any medium or any firm, fresh or long life tofu this way for the week. Today I'm air frying all four tubs of tofu once it's sat in the marinade for a couple of hours. But often, I'll leave the pressed marinated tofu in the fridge in the tubs and air fry the day we want it. The lemon juice and the spices are excellent preservatives and keep it fresh for at least three, four days. I've got these gorgeous baby potatoes. I'm gonna knock up a quick potato salad. It'll take no time, it's really, really yummy. So easy to make. You can have it in lunch boxes, a side dish to a salad, a snack. It's a really tasty, easy dish to make. Baby potatoes are best for this salad. They're more tender. I like to cube them around two centimeter pieces. Potatoes have lots of nutrition, including some protein, and they help you feel full for longer. The secret to the perfect potato salad is boiling the garlic. This takes away the bitterness and makes the garlic very yummy. I'm using 10 cloves of garlic for my one and a half kilograms of baby potatoes. While they boil till tender for four to five minutes, I finally dice eight to 10 spring onions. They bring a great flavor to the salad. Spring onions are fabulous. They're antibacterial, so they're great for our immune systems, reduce the risk of cancer, and they're great to keep our eyes and heart healthy. They contain folate, calcium, and iron too. You could swap spring onion for chives. Chives are gorgeous in this salad. 
I'm setting my boiled cooked garlic aside to cool. Garlic is very nutrient dense and it's amazing for our immune systems too. This garlic water smells amazing. Let's add it to the potatoes. For a potato salad to be perfect, the timing of baby potatoes boiling is critical. I really keep an eye on them. So they stab all the fork. This one's not quite ready yet, but they're not so soft that the potato splits in too easily with a fork. For speed, ease and yumminess, I'm using half a jar of Hellman's Vegan Mayo. We love the flavour, it's fabulous. Crushing the 10 boiled garlic cloves with my garlic press. Mix it all together. At this stage, it smells so good. Oh, please hit the like button or leave a comment if you're enjoying today's recipe video. And then adding a few tablespoons of water so as not to add too much oil to the dish or calories, but making it saucier. A little pink salt. I've been making potato salad every week recently. Potatoes are in season here in Cyprus and they are great value. I love having healthy food ready to snack on in the fridge and to easily put into packed lunch boxes. And that's a big batch of potato salad ready in no time. It's so tasty. That's so yummy. Because we boil the garlic, it will last for days. Now often I add red kidney beans or giant fava beans like butter beans, but they're Greek. And then it makes it a really high protein potato salad. I'm gonna top this up and this will last for days if I don't eat it all now. The tandoori tofu has been marinating now for a couple of hours. I cook this on 200 degrees centigrade in my air fryer for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of the pieces and how firm or squishy I want it. Next to prep are jacket potatoes. These are gonna be super handy for lunches or dinners. White potatoes get such a bad rep and they shouldn't. They are rich in vitamin C and potassium B6 and they've even got folate and protein. For jacket potatoes, I stab them with a fork, add some pink salt, olive oil, and wrap them in tin foil. An easy, effortless breakfast we've been loving lately is half a jacket potato, topped with mashed avocado, chili flakes, salt, coriander, sesame seeds on a bed of baby spinach. It's a great way to start the day. Leafy greens, healthy fats, protein, amigas. Bang them in the oven for an hour and a half, Two hours on 150. This fresh tofu marinated in tandoori and then air fried is wicked. I actually brought out a video, a what's for dinner video. Also in that video is spring rolls. Check out that video. The tandoori tofu dinner dish is just to die for. If you've had a tandoori mixed grill from a curry house before, this is incredible. Honestly, it's like soft and squishy on the inside. Mm. This is gonna hit the spot. So check out that watch for dinner video and make this for your wraps, for your lunch boxes, butter bowls. Wow, you're going to love it. Next today we're making courgette sweet corn fritters. These are really yummy and they're gonna be so handy for lunch boxes and snacks. They are naturally gluten free, they're made of oat flour, Oats are incredible for you, lowering your cholesterol, taking fat out your bloodstream. Oats are amazing, rich in antioxidants, all kinds. Look into oats, they're brilliant, I love them. The sweet corn has a pretty high protein content. Courgettes are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, really high in vitamin A. These are really good for you, and they're really handy too. I love handy food. They're really quick to make a huge batch of. Let's wear our ingredients. We're using five grams of courgettes. 500 grams of potato, and I'm actually gonna use my nifty little machine. It was really cheap. It'll grate all the ingredients really fast, and we'll have these in the air fryer in no time. This recipe is totally oil-free, gluten-free, dairy-free. Love it. Of course, a normal handheld grater works too, but these vegetable cutters make such light, speedy work. A huge amount of nutrition from fruit and vegetables is actually in the skin, so you'll find I hardly ever remove the skin of any fruit or any vegetable. B6 
Be sure to drain all the moisture from your sweet corn tins. There's enough moisture in the courgette, the potato and the sweet corn that when we make our batter mix, we shouldn't need to add any water at all. I'm gonna mix all the wet ingredients together and then all the dry ingredients and then we'll mix it all together bang it in the air fryer and have some yummy fritters. I'm crushing 15 to 20 boiled garlic cloves into the wet mix and stirring in really well. Then for the batter dry mix, 14 tablespoons of oat flour, seven tablespoons of chickpea flour, which is very high in protein, 10 tablespoons of this brand nutritional yeast, you may wish to use less, three tablespoons of protein and omega rich chia seeds, three teaspoons of paprika, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of chili flakes, which are optional, two tablespoons of baking powder, ground black pepper, then mixing all the dry ingredients together really well. Next, I add the dry mix slowly to the wet mix and gradually. I add some dry mix, mix it in, then add some more dry mix, mix it in, and this makes a perfect batter. These fritter patties feel quite wet, but they do cook to a crisp without oil and they stay crispy for days. I cook these for 15 minutes on 200 degrees centigrade, then flip them over and cook for another five minutes. So 20 minutes in total. I love these courgette sweet corn fritters with a saute dipping sauce. It's easy to make from scratch. Mmm, oh, that's so good. I love peanut butter. I'll show you how I make my satay sauce right now. It is quick, quick, quick to make. I've already boiled some garlic cloves. They go gorgeous in this. I've got a gar for sweetness, the garlic, some chili flakes, tahini, peanut butter. Get 100% peanuts, peanut butter. Occasionally on the island, I can't get it. Water and some pink salt. And that is it. And then you can have the most gorgeous dipping sauce. I'll make it in a bowl and I'm gonna put it into a jar to put in the fridge. I'm using one teaspoon of tahini, five tablespoons of smooth peanut butter, five large garlic cloves, boiled and crushed, mix together really well, and one teaspoon of agave, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes, and a little bit of optional pink salt. Just mix in your water, tablespoon by tablespoon, to get a lovely, smooth saute sauce. I normally use around eight tablespoons of water. The final dish I'm batching this week is a bean dish, beans and tomatoes. This will go with rice, it will go with jacket potatoes. It's gonna be super handy. I love some beans ready in the fridge. So I've got black eyed beans and black beans. I soak these for 12, 24 hours. These need to go in the slow cooker with some chopped tomatoes, tomato passata, some tomato puree, a bulb of crushed garlic, some shallots, oh and some TVP, some soya mints. So cheap and it just will bulk it up a little bit. And a few herbs in there too. And it's gonna make a gorgeous, rich, tomato, bean, protein rich dish. These shallots make it really, really scrumptious. I cook bean dishes using uncooked beans like this for 10 hours on high, stirring regularly. I increase this to 12 hours if I'm using bigger beans. Get inventive, add chili, your favorite spices or herbs, and enjoy. This looks too good not to try. Perfect. Team that with rice, quinoa, pasta, spaghetti, jacket potatoes, a little bit of cheese on top, tacos, and loaded nachos. I hope you've got some recipe and meal ideas from today's video. If so, do let me know in the comments and please hit the like button. Next weekend, I'm sharing my new yummy nutritious muffins and the following week, I've got some of my very favorite summer salads. I hope you have a lovely tasty week. Bye.